So here we are out at Lake George and uh, we're on the floor of the, the lake. Doesn't look like a lake at the moment, but uh, sometimes there's water right across this area. Uh, at the moment, the water is well to the south of us, even though we've had good rain the last few months. Um, so we've had this research project going for uh, several years to investigate the long history of Lake George. Uh, and one of the sources of information on the long history of the lake, well beyond human uh, history, is to uh, take sediment cores from beneath the floor of the lake uh, and examine the sediment, particularly for fossil pollen, which tells us about the vegetation that was growing uh, at this site at times uh, uh, back, uh, in this case, uh, a few million years. Today, we're uh, at the northern end of the lake. We're drilling a hole uh, that's uh, gone down uh, more than 80 metres. Uh, we're intersecting sediments that uh, we think are probably more than four million years old uh, and when we uh, process these sediment cores in the lab and extract the pollen grains and identify them we'll be able to say what the vegetation was like around Lake George more than four million years ago uh, and also uh, say something about the climate at the time because vegetation is very strongly related to climate. Four million years ago, we think the rainfall was probably much higher around Lake George. And so uh, we know from previous drilling that we've done out here uh, that uh, intersected sediments as old as three million years. We know it three million years ago, uh, there were some kinds of rainforest trees growing around the, the lake. And the rainfall was much, much higher than it is today. And, and we expect that probably something similar was happening back four million years, but let's see uh, when we get the sediment cores out. The type of vegetation and the climate and the kind of sediment that we're drilling through helps us build up a picture of the environment uh, at various times in the past, including um, how deep the lake was, uh, or even if there was a lake, uh, and so on. So it's all part of understanding the the history of the region, the landscape, uh, the past climate changes.